Welcome to breakout session number 23. I'm calling this uh, Putting It All Together. Uh, before I get started, I want to say hi to all the members of the Guitar League out there around the country that might be watching, and we'll get right into it today. Um, over the past year, we have covered things from uh, basic theory, bar chords, triads, uh, scales, modes, uh, alternate tunings, arpeggios, uh, chord tones, and more. So if you're new to this channel, I would highly recommend that you subscribe and go back to breakout session number one and take it from there. Um, there's a lot of content up there, probably hours, but it's, it's in little chunks. So you can watch one or two little videos and then go back and, and continue on. And they are, in a, there's a method to my madness. I'm trying to get you to, uh, to where we are today. Okay, so if you haven't seen them, you should go back and watch them. So I'm going to summarize some of the things today. So today we're going to talk about a few concepts, put them together, scales, triads, modes, harmony, and then also uh, some of the number system. Real quickly, we'll cover that. So, um, it all starts with the very basic major scale, okay? And we've talked about this. This goes back to the original theory video. But if we take a C major scale, very basic one, and we number those notes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. we put those horizontally, if we take those numbers and we put them horizontally, you have a scale and you have music, you know, like the written music is going to go horizontal, single notes, okay? If you take those numbers and stack them up, then you have chords. For instance, if we take a one, a three, and a five, and we stack it vertically, one, three, five, we have a C major chord, okay? If we stack them up and we put like a one, three, five, and we put a flat seven on that, we'd have a C major seven chord. So horizontally, we have scales. Vertically, we have chords. That's kind of what I'm trying to get across today. So, um, also, if we number these, one, two, you know, one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, okay, in a scale, and we start a scale, let's say the C scale, if we start the scale from the second note, which is the D, and we finish it on the D, that's a mode. That's the Dorian mode, okay? Funny thing, there's seven notes and there's seven modes. I don't know how that is, but anyway. So if we start a scale and finish it on the second note of the scale, we have the Dorian mode. And so if we start it with the third note of the scale and finish it with the third note of the scale, we have another mode. You know, we have the Phrygian mode and so on. Okay, I'm not going to, we covered modes back in the other breakout sessions. So you go back there and we covered the ones that are most used, you know, probably the Dorian, the Mixolydian, 
and the uh, Aeolian, which is the minor, the relative minor of whatever key you're in. So like in the Dorian mode, just briefly, it's, there, there's minor modes and major modes and back, go back and look at that. But the, the Dorian mode would be a minor mode and it would be like played over a D minor. But you'd use a C scale starting on D. today but it's that's it in a nutshell is a major scale starting in the next position in the starting on the two and finishing on the two starting on the three finishing on the three on the four finishing on the four and so on those are the modes okay uh, and go back and check that out okay so then the next thing I wanted to do is talking about scales um, let's take that C scale. Let's take part of the C scale. Let's take the one, two, three, four, five, six of that scale. Okay? Okay? And this is going to be fun. This is a, a, a breakthrough alert right now. This is going to be playing some harmony. This is fun. So let's go up here to the C up here and do those same notes. The one, two, three, four, five. You can do the six too. So that's the one, two, three, four, five. So what if we then start on the three and do the same thing? And then we start on the five and do the same scale. And then, as, I, as you heard coming in, I'll just give you a brief thing. This is these three parts put together. So let's say three different guitars. I start here, you start here, and our friend starts here. And you get this. But you can do that anywhere in any scale, okay? Using the, those, those numbers that we talked about. Okay, so um, let's not talk over that. But you can do that in any key, okay? Using the, the one, two, three, four, five, six of that scale. And then start on, you know, start on the three of the scale and the five of the scale, and you have three-part harmony. Okay, you're stacking it up. Okay, so that was just a fun little breakthrough there uh, that finally dawned on me when I listened to the Allman Brothers. Okay, so the next thing we I want to talk about real quick is the number system. And again, we've talked about this before, but uh, plays nice with others, for instance. Um, when, when you go to a worship, uh, you're playing worship music, you're going to a bluegrass jam, you're going to a blues jam, any kind of jam, and they're calling out the chords to you, what do you do? Okay? Well, uh, first of all, I'm going to include a little chart down in the uh, description. There'll be a link to a chart that tells you what you do. But this chart, first of all, has the major keys and not the uh, flats and sharps, okay? And in a live situation, you don't have time to look at a chart. You've got to figure it out. So, and, so and, then, and again, if they throw something, a lot, of, a lot of worship music and a lot of blues and jazz, and when there's horns especially, we might be playing in B flat, okay? So if they start calling out, you know, the, the one, we're going to the four, we're going to the five, whatever, the two minor, what are they talking about? And you don't have time to look it up. So you gotta, you got to know what the difference is between major and minor chords, okay? That's on that chart, and I've talked about it before. 
Okay, but let's say they're gonna do that in B flat. Well, we numbered those, we numbered that scale. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So if we know the fretboard, if we know the notes on the fretboard, then we can figure out what those notes are and what the chords would be. So let's say in B flat, we got a B flat, we got a C minor, we got a D minor, we got an E flat major, we got an F major, we got a G minor, we'd have an A diminished and back to B flat. So those would be the chords that you basically play in. Now they could say that they're gonna play the two is gonna be a major or something. You know, they might throw that around. So that would be uh, so the, the D is going to be, be a D and not a D minor in that scenario. But anyway, so you get the chart, study the chart, but if you learn that simple major scale pattern and how to put numbers to it, you can figure this all out on the fly. Okay, so I, that's what I was wanting to talk about today. Um, I hope I got the message across in a short period of time. <laughs> So that if you like these videos, again, I would ask you, please subscribe. I could use some more subscribers, okay? So please do that for me. Subscribe, hit the little bell. We'll let you know when the next video comes out. And if you like these videos, please hit the like button. And, you, and positive comments are always welcome. So I'm going to see you in the next video, and happy holidays.